Okay, so it's a similar question as was question number three. And using the cofactors of elements of the third column. The third column, we have to evaluate the depth. So let's find out the cofactors of the third column. Third column is this. So the element is first row and the third column, which is equal to minus one raised power four. And if we remove the row and the column of that, it's one y and one z minus one raised power two is one. This is one into z is z minus y, which is equal to z minus y. Okay, next is cofactor of the element in the third row minus one raised power two plus three is five. And if we take off the, the row and the column of this, this is 1x, 1z. So this is equal to negative 1 into 1 into z is z minus 1 into x is x. So this is, if you multiply this, this is x minus z. Okay, next is a 3 3 which is equal to negative 1 base power 6. And if we remove the row and the column of this, so a three three, if we remove the row and the column, this is one x one y one x one y, and this is equal to negative one x plus six is one, and this is y minus x, which is equal to y minus x. Now we have to find out the value of the depth so that is the elements of the third column with the sum of the product of the elements of the third column with their respective or corresponding cofactors less a to p and a to p a three p and a cofactor so a one p now a one p let's put in the values a one p is y z and this is z minus y. A23 is zx, and its cofactor is x minus z, and A33 is xy, and its cofactor is y minus x. Okay, now we have to expand this, and if we expand this, this is yz square minus y square z. This is z x square minus z square x plus x y square minus x square y. Okay, now we are going to group them. So I'm going to group y z square with y square z. y z square with y square z. This is the group. So with y z squared minus y z square plus next is let me take common for uh these two so this is x y square minus we have to take common x so x y square I'm going to group is z square x and we are left with z square x minus okay this is z x square z x square minus x square y okay so for the first one here the common is y z so it's z minus y and for these two the common is x so this is y square minus z square and for these two the common is x square so this is z minus y. Now this is yz z minus y. 
and I can write it as this is a squared minus b squared, so a minus b into a plus b. And for this, I'm going to take negative out. So this is negative x squared, and this thing is y minus z. Now I have y z. Okay, so this is y minus z, y minus z, I'm going to negative out here as well. Take out negative r. So this is now we have y minus z common in all the three terms. Y minus z, y minus z, and y minus z. So if I take y minus z common, this is z. I'm left with negative y z plus x into y plus z and minus x squared. So finally I have y minus z in and negative y z plus okay let me open this so this is y minus z and minus y z plus x y plus x z minus x squared. We are going to rearrange this again so this is y minus z and I'm going to rearrange this so this minus y z and z x for these two let me group these two minus y z plus x z and we are left with x y minus x squared so I'm going to group rearrange this and this is y minus z for these the common is z so i'm left with x minus y and here the common is x so this is y minus x okay so this x minus y and y minus x and i'm going to make it x minus y so minus y z this is z into x minus y going to take out negative here out here so this is now x minus y so for the for these two terms common is x minus y so this is y minus z and here the common is x minus y and i'm left with z minus x so this is y minus z into x minus y and y minus z and z minus x so x minus y and after that it's y minus z and in the end it's z minus x this is the answer if you match it with the NCRT textbook so we are done with question number four do like share and subscribe thank you for watching